Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I read a quote by uh, Mother Teresa, and I'm not Catholic, and it said that if there is no peace, it's because we have forgotten that we belong to one another. Wayne County has a responsibility here, and I thank God for Jerome because Martha Scott said that because he's not mentally challenged and he's able to speak his mind. What about the people who are mentally challenged that are in this program? I say we may have a class action suit going on here because we need to find out. They may still be in their homes, but are they getting adequate care? Do they have the ramping? Can they get into their restroom? So we need to check those things out. In the state of Michigan, there's a disability commission that's appointed by the governor. It's a 13 body panel for a three year term. There is not one that represents the city of Detroit. The closest one is in Livonia, and then the rest are Skoda and, and Burton and places I haven't even, didn't even know existed in Michigan. So we don't have anyone to protect our rights here in the city of Detroit on the legislative level. And so that becomes an issue there as well. And for them to tell you to get a job, Jerome, <laughs> there are all types of problems with that. Okay, you get a job. Then they cut your social security right. because you make, you're making a little more money. Then you get sick. Then what happens when you can't work anymore, but you have to reapply for Social Security? You fall through the cracks. So then we've got another person with a disability who's homeless that adds and magnifies the problem. It's a disgrace. It's really a disgrace. They're disrespecting <clears throat> our rights. They've almost segregated us and made us a different race. So I went online and I checked the census because I just wanted to find out exactly how many people in Wayne County were disabled. 6.6% of the men are disabled and 6% of women are disabled in Wayne County. The government only requires that 5% of public housing is accessible. So right there, there's not enough public housing to supply the demand. So here we have a program that Community Living Services has. Community living, that's the operative word. So if we, don't, if we can't go to a housing project and all of the uh, places are rented out, there's not enough housing there for us to live in, then we have this program that we qualify for, but then they're gonna yank the rug from up under us. On the Section 8 program, there's no provision that because you have a disability, you automatically qualify for Section 8. So what do you do? I say we got a class action suit going on here. I say we do. When Kwame Kilpatrick was in office, he made an agreement with the Justice Department to make our city accessible. This building wasn't even accessible for us to come into today. This is a public, they have public meetings in this building. So it should be totally accessible for people with disabilities. The city county building, the restroom for God's sake on the floor with the chambers is not accessible. It's in the basement. There are several buildings around and we're not even gonna talk about the curb cuts. They had all this funding for, to do the curb cuts. They started it last summer and did not complete anything this summer. It halted. But the money is there. So what's going on with this money? Thank God you spoke up. Mm -hmm. We've got warriors on wheels that speak up. And it's almost like they're taking us backwards because we are speaking up. So Jerome, we with you and we are gonna fight all the way. I appreciate it. You know, uh, I'm here as Lisa Franklin. I am president of Warriors on Wheels, but I'm here as Lisa Franklin because that's a nonprofit organization and I have boundaries. But I support you as an activist Amen. and as a human being. Yes, yes, yes. And we all deserve the right. I mean, it could be any one of us, any moment. It happened to me. I was a drunk driver, hit me. I had no idea. 
And so here I am in a situation where I have to depend on someone else. I put my life in someone else's hand to make decisions on how I ha I'm supposed to live and then I'm supposed to be quiet about it. Right. I don't think so. I don't think so. Just because you utilize a wheelchair or mobility should not silence you. It doesn't change your mind, doesn't change your heart. <laughs> That's it.